Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we are going to find the interquartile range. That's the range of the middle 50% of all of our data. In order to help us out, we are going to borrow our TI-89 calculators in order to find the Q3 and Q1 that we need to find this interquartile range. Remember that the Q3 is basically the upper median of our data, and Q1 is the lower median of all of our data. All right? So let's go ahead and grab our calculators and see how this process uh, plays out. Okay, so first we need to get all of this data inside the calculator. So you'll notice I'm on the home screen, I'm going to press my apps button. Okay, once I do that, I want to scroll over to my data, data matrix editor and then press enter. Now the first thing it wants to know is, will this be a current sheet, a, a new one? You know, what do I want to do? I'm going to go ahead and select that this will be a new set of data. Okay, and now I have a few other options. It says, first of all, what are you going to be storing in here? I'm going to leave this just as data. Next option says folder. Let's go ahead and leave it in the main folder. And for variable, this is where we get to name our data. Now, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, you know, as long as it has a name attached to it. So I'm going to give it the name of E. There we go. I'll press enter one more time and enter again and I'm brought to this screen known as the data matrix editor. It looks kind of like an Excel sheet. And we start entering in our data one by one. So three, five, five, six, eight, eight, seven, seven, eleven, thirteen, and fourteen. There we go. Now once you have it all entered in, take note that at the top of that column it says C1. This will be important in just a bit. Okay, we got lots of menu options at the top. We want to go to F5 that says Calc. So press F5. Now, the first option that says Calculation Type, and it says Two Variable. Press the right arrow button and scroll up until it says One Variable. Press Enter. All right, scroll down. And this is where we're going to tell the calculator what data to use. Remember, everything was stored in that list, C1. So we'll tell the calculator to look at C1. Perfect. All right, there's only one other option. Go ahead and leave this as no. Okay, so we press enter, and we get lots of different information. Go ahead and scroll down through this list, because what we want to see is the Q1 and Q3. Once you have these, feel free to write them down. Let's see, my Q1 says that it is equal to 5, and Q3 says it is equal to 11. All right, that's all we need our calculators for, so let's set this off to the side and compute the interquartile range. This is going to be Q3 minus Q1. Well, calculator said Q3 was 11. Q1 was 5, so we subtract the 2, and we get an answer of 6. That's the interquartile range. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.